in a super extreme way that feels like it's lighting your soul on fire. Okay. I think Hey there, hi there, hello there, and welcome to the Naruto Reacts. In this, we're reacting to the Dragon Prince Season 1, Episode 8. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Cursed Caldera. Mm. Are you two, three gonna meet up with uh, Claudia and, and Soren? It's gonna be a big battle. Or, I wonder, are they gonna talk and possibly find out that Viren's like... Like, is there gonna be, like, a talk they're gonna have that's gonna, like, where they're all gonna join against Viren? I don't think so. I don't think... I don't think... Maybe Sora... Mm, I don't know. Kirsten, what's gonna happen? Safe. Safe. Sure. So how are we supposed to find this miracle healer? Right there. Wait, is that... Is that Alice and the Wolf? It is! Woof! Got the name of the wolf. Find her. Was it Eva? This way. I want a wolf that I can ride. Even though a dragon would be cooler. So, hi there. But <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, we haven't been previously introduced. Uh, I'm Rela. I'm a. <laughs> exactly. And this is Ava. She's Ava. I was saying Eva. This is not Wally. Okay, so Ava and Ellis. I thought bird. Bird? <laughs> She's like, no, I couldn't tell that was a wolf. Ellis, this is Rayla, who we originally met because, uh... He was gonna kill, uh, Ezra, but, you know, now we're friends. <laughs> well, she broke into our castle, trying to kill Ezrin. Yeah. I love how Rayla's like, yeah. <laughs> but people meet in so many interesting ways. Don't they? So how do we find this healer? Truth is, I, I don't know. found her. Even if it takes all night. Wait. Uh. That's got a better idea? As a matter of fact. I do. No. I do not. <laughs> okay. I thought she was going to actually say I do, but then it just switched. She looks so like positive. It's like, in fact, I do not. <laughs> I'll get us to that. I love Rila. The, the egg is all that matters now. Rila putting the egg before herself. Don't drop it. Ah, freaking bait all green. Do you all I was about to say, do all four of you want to walk on that tree at once? I just realized that he literally has the flag or thing on his backpack that says easy. That's very 21st century talk, Lingo. This is where the tree was. It's so beautiful. Never mind, okay. It's like the sky is painted with honey. Wow. That's an interesting way to put it. Kinda, I guess. Means the nightmare's about to begin. Uh, what? Do what? You mean? Oh, you know, enormous monsters indescribable. Oh yeah, that's right. In her flashback, she did see those like monster f apparitions or whatever it was. Double terrors, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Oh, yeah. great. And the higher we go, the worse, the worse it gets. It will get. Joy. All right, well, let's go. I feel like you need to be able to describe them first. Um, <laughs> the horrifying in a super extreme way that feels like it's lighting your soul on fire. Okay. I think... Whoosh, slish, slash. You know, I can see why they picked uh, Sokka's VA for Callum because... Uh, Callum is very similar to Sokka, but Sokka was more cup half and like pessimistic kind of guy uh like he was the he was the jokester and stuff and like the the what is it the they call him they could not comedy um the comedy relief he was like the comedy relief in the group of A in avatar but he was still very pessimistic and it took ang like usually being the more positive one um whereas here callum's almost like Kind of a mix of like Sokka and Aang, so um, yeah, I could, but yeah, I could see why they picked Sokka's VA for him. He's got that goofiness of Sokka. Awesome. Now we just need to have him drink like some random uh, plant juice and see a giant cloud and go mushroom friend, and then we're we've got the Sokka character perfectly. Um, is he okay? No, I think he's finally cracked under the pressure. <laughs> no, that's the plan. Ezrin, you have the first. No, when he cracks under pressure is when we get the stupid dance. 
I'm just kind of holding up bait. Your support. And? Every team support. needs a great support. Ellis, you're next. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of video games where you need good supports. Do you think you can run around and bark a lot, Ava? <laughs> She's ready. <laughs> Ava's like, I'm a dog. <laughs> it's just a Little simple one. rune thing I picked up. No big deal. Yeah. He just needs to go like this. <laughs> it, perfect. He's gonna blow on the monster. Ruffle its fur real good. <laughs> it's either that or... Oh, wait. It will. It'll be wind. <laughs> Oh my god, Ezra. My hand is in pretty bad shape. I'm only going to be able to use one blade. Okay. Then so slash, slash slash. No way. That won't work. This is my slish hand. Uh. <laughs> really? This is my slish hand? <laughs> she did. Okay. Really? No, not really, dummy. <laughs> okay. I actually believed her. <laughs> I'll bet she was actually trying to say fulminous. It's the draconic word for lightning. Oh. So if fulminous is the trigger word, then you know the spell for lightning. Try it now. Just don't Revise let you kill anyone. Zap slash. <laughs> he still walks proudly. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. That food actually looks. Okay, never mind. That one, whatever that is, looks like a radish with zits. All right, the only thing appetizing looks like maybe the raspberries, the pile of mush, and then the, the tomato looking thing. We're gonna say, see Runan. How is he supposed to eat? Runan looks like he's ready to. Though that hand has seen better days. Hand? I think you mean arm. So strange and exotic. Uh huh. And these Zadian oranges, no That's an orange? I thought it was a freaking tomato. Seeds. Or a strawberry. Incredible. He's gonna bite your nope. finger off. Do it yourself, I'll eat it. Don't worry, it's berry juice. Moonberry juice? He's gonna drink it. I simply want you to take a look at an object and tell me what it does. After that. I will let I am already dead. <sighs> I don't think he I think he means like once he leaves the fact that he No cuz I just realized wait what was his second binding for cuz the first one was killing the king haro so if they completed that shouldn't both bindings be done for him at least cuz I know like Rayla well Rayla's came off the first one came off after king haro died. But they had the second one. I forgot what the second one was, though. I must come up with something you will fear more than death. Rayla being killed? No, because Renan was going to kill her himself, so. It's going to have to be someone he cares about, I'm going to guess. Oh, Excuse me. hey. <laughs> I would love to try some Zadian fruit. The offer's not for you. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> it's like worth a shot. <laughs> Bait glowing. Mildly annoyed. He doesn't look annoyed at all. Or did we accidentally wander up Humdrum Hill? <laughs> Humdrum Hill. <laughs> Maybe we took a wrong turn and wound up on Sleepy Slope. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. I'll have to check my map, but I'm fairly certain I recognize the unmistakable topography of Mount Monotonous. <laughs> <laughs> the cricket noise. All right, hey, to be fair for Callum, that wasn't bad. Mount Monon Monominous? Monominous? I can't even say it. Anyway, that was as good. Don't be mean to Callum. His wasn't bad. Looks like a cricket. Odd that nothing bad has happened yet. Shh, you're jinxing it. Oh. But don't worry, it's dead. Then why did you say it like that? Hey, like like that! I've never seen anything Whoa. like this. That's and big. Look at those circles. Don't touch it. Something moved behind them. They look like a worm. What a strange birthmark. That's not a birthmark. Uh, that's, that's a birthmark. Burn mark? It's a bite mark. Oh. Is it like a circle mouth worm You're thing? Right. Something's drained all its blood. Guys. Ew. I 
A leech? Ew. Where's B? B. B, come on, you're supposed to. Oh, too soon. Too soon. Not blind them. <laughs> Way to go, bait. At least he helped as we were finding all. Okay, what about the rest of the plan? Oh, <laughs> poor bait. You stepped on him. It's just to get away and live. Yeah, I was say just to survive. Ow. <laughs> oh, now it's gonna go for Ezra and Rayla. Ouch, she can't use her uh, her one arm. Ouch. Good thing it can't climb. Oh, now it's just gonna circle them like a freaking tremor. We don't even have that much blood. I know. <laughs> It's like, I don't care. Snack's a snack. Don't have a Our execution was a little off. A little? It came out more like, Arg, oops, help, run. I love how, you know, I think one of the things I love about Rayla is she's not like, she doesn't put down Callum. It's more like, no, yeah, we c we just messed up the execution. And then she supports him. We were like, like, like making a joke out of it to try and lift the spirits. But I like how Rayla's like that instead of her being like the... You idiot, yeah, it was your fault, like, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Even though she could be sarcastic in her way, like, it's kind of like making fun of it, but not in a full put down way. It's like a, no, yeah, it's more of an, ah, run, oh, fall. Reflection? And you will tell me what you know. Understood? Oh, well, I know it's the... Mirror that the prince and king, or I king and queen used. I hope you will find motivating. Money. You're a monster. What? You're mistaken. What is it? Pragmatist. What is it? it Sound like coins. It seems to be hanging in. I swear, if it's like the ring from the the king and queen. No, the queen's still alive, so it's gotta be the king, right? Everyone messes up sometimes. Or really knows that. Days. All the times. Oh. Well, it's true. I am pretty awesome at everything. Really? Right up until the moment when it really matters. Hmm. That's when I just poof, screw things up. Poof. Are they each gonna have their talks? Still waiting. That thing is desperate. I've never met an actual mage before. Mage in training. They're not at all what I expect. You know, taller, long robe, cloak. Yeah. Clear. Rain clear. Smart. It's funny to hear someone say that. I don't think of myself as confident. They literally are. You have Rayla that was talking to Ezra, and then now you have freaking Callum talking to Ellis. Ellis, right? Uh. Really? You should. Be. And it's Noah's Ava for the dog. Wolf. Power. <laughs> They're stargazing. My team was discovered oh. by a human guard. Oh, this will come. You stop him. Kill him, you mean? You have compassion. But then you saw he was scared. Just like you were. And you knew he was a person. Just like you. Do you realize I'm an assassin who's never killed anyone? I just uh, bait blue. I think that's a good thing. I like being alive. I'm glad you're alive, Ezrin. <laughs> I like being alive. Definitely worth losing a hand for. Uh. That's the weirdest, nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe this is my unlucky hand, so when it falls off, my luck will change. That's, That's a good, horrible. Yeah. Funny though. Funny and horrible. <laughs> it's a good positive spin on it. Just a guy who can draw and make right and throw boomerangs. Time to time. And they're not even. I have a feeling you'd be pretty amazing, even without. Hint, hint. Foreshadowing. And Ava's also great. <laughs> Is it okay if I pet her? <laughs> Whoa! It's like it's. I'll just lick you. I think that thing might be gone. And then it comes back. I wouldn't take a while to get down either. I'd run. Haven't seen it or heard it in a while. Seems like it moved on. See ya, sucker. Literally. Maybe because it's a mm. giant leech. Uh huh. So more of a description than an insult. A little of both. Mhm. Mm <laughs> <laughs> Face. On, but let's not taunt it, okay? Um, I don't like the background being all foggy. Just as you say one thing, like you're really sure about it, that's when the opposite happens. Like now? Nah. Maybe that's how things work in stories, but in the real world... Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, maybe we need to enact the plan again? 
I think you need to enact the plan this time. And close your... Sounds like an elk. They're using an elk sound effect from her. They're both wolfy. <laughs> it worked. Now I need to slish. Can you be astounded later? Yeah. Uh, Rayla, finishing move. You got this. Slash. You mean slish? She hesitated. She did it. Close one. I almost died. That thing was a split. Ah, you. They're yeah, they're leeches. They're gonna. Oh, never mind. Okay. I thought they were gonna stick to her anyway. Yes. <laughs> How about that? I knew. Well, they just come back. Plan. I knew whoosh. Really, you should look a little more happier that he just saved you from being eaten by little or sucked dry by leeches. I still want to know what he dropped in front of him. Enough brooding, elf. My brooding. patience. He's like, I don't even know what it does. I will never help you, and you are of no. Use Wait, why does he now have like a mark on his cheek? Was he? Did he hit him? Oh, we're seeing Viren cast dark magic. He's sucking his life force? And you have no idea what's going on, do you? Did he just suck the magic out of him like he did to the butterflies? Uh. What the hell? I always seem to capture the same expression. You put him in a coin? All right, no, wait. He dropped two coins. I no. He dropped two coins in front of Renan, and Renan said, "You monster, whatever it is." So who did he have in those two coins that Renan would respond that way? Is it the king? Is it the dragon king? Is it Haro? Nah, there's something. Now that I know that he's put Renan in a coin, and he showed Renan two coins previous to that that Renan had a like shocked reaction to. Nope. There's some there no okay. That's the tree. Well, isn't that like yes, <laughs> that stands that. out? We're gonna find the healer and save on the next the episode. <laughs> it's okay, Ava. Oh no. What? What is it? What she said. I have really bad news. She has to go to the restroom. I don't know how to tell you. Just say it. Even if we make it to the rim, Dragon is not gonna make it. It doesn't matter. There is no miracle healer. Huh? I could wait. I'm confused, huh? What do you wait? What do you mean? There's no healer. How does Ava know? Does Ava sense it or something? I'm wondering if she. I wonder if Ava can because she was the one healed by the elf. So I wonder if she can sense it, like if it's there or not. Hmm. I don't know. Wait, hold on. I gotta, of course, gotta, let me pay attention to the drawings. Let me pay attention to the drawings. Okay, so you got, what's his name? The one, the human that was tracking them down in that one episode that fought Rayla. He's tracked base footprints down to the snow elf that Rayla built. Or changed, I should say. You got Ava with bait, his own little sword dagger. Who are you? You are not Rudon. Renan, not Rudon. What reflection are you looking at right now? Look at, I'm guessing you're looking at your own reflection, but why are you crying? And who are you? Hmm. Could be the one that was in the coin? No. The staff. Okay, wait, that staff has um, Viren's Chris. that, the thing in the middle is the same thing that's on Viren's staff. So did Viren take something from the elves and made it part of his own staff? Or does did his staff belong to someone else and he 
No, because his staff looks like it's completely different from this one. The only thing that looks, the only thing from his staff that's on this thing is that like shield with the gem in the middle. Oh, there's those coins. Nah. Okay. Yeah, they're they're okay. So you see Runan in it. Who are the other coins? And why would Runan Runan has to know them because he said you monster. So. Hmm. Oh, Ella's with a. Uh... Wait, did she find an amulet for so or for someone? Oh my god, for Callum. <laughs> did she find an amulet for Callum? Is that foreshadowing for what uh, Callum's am amulet's gonna look like? All right, well, uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts then. <laughs> All right, so my thoughts for this episode. All right, so we actually got <laughs> it. What would this one be considered? This one wasn't really. I, you know what, I, it's hard for me to say like, oh, was this a filler episode? Was this like a, it, cause it did move along the plot. Like we got to see more of what Viren's up to. Uh, we now have sort of a fate for Renan, which is now he's stuck on a coin. So he's not dead, but he's trapped now. Um, I wonder if that stops the effect of the bind. Like, will that keep him from losing his arm or, or whatever? Um, let's see. Then you have, uh, you have the crew having a heart, like heart to heart talk with each other, even though it wasn't with each other. It was but it literally, I like how they did it where it was, you had Rayla with Ezra talk to each other. And then you had Callum with, uh, pretty sure it was Ellis, um, talk to each other. And I love how it's not like they got super separated, like from far away from each other. It's like, they were literally just on opposite sides of, um, a ravine. Literally it was just a tree and then like a little mountain. <laughs> they were both separate, but far enough away that they couldn't hear each other. So like Rayla could be open with Ezra and talk about her things, and then Callum could be open with his things to Alice and, and stuff. Um, so I liked how that was handled. It was, it was cute. Um, and then uh, let's see. I think that was. Yeah, we didn't we didn't get anything with um, Soren or with um, Claudia. So, and it was interesting, we actually got to see Viren use dark magic, like, actually cast it, not just, like, we saw him suck, not, we didn't see him, but we heard him suck out the magic from that butterfly. Uh, I thought he was doing the same to Renan, but, okay, so he sealed him into a coin. Yeah, I, what's interesting, though, is it's almost like he sucked the magic out of Renan, because when he came out of the room, he looked, he had the, like, the skin tone of an, of the Moonshadow Elves. But his eyes were, like, he had all these cracks, like, veins or whatever, and his eyes were, like, hollowed out and things. Yeah, you know, as much as I, like, I, like, feel like from Viren, he's, like, genuine and, like, <laughs> in some of the stuff he says, he also feels like, like, I know some of you have have explained that he really believes in his cause and that what he's doing is for the best and stuff. And he's very much like Silco from Arcane and very much um, like kind of like Mother Godful and that selfishness where it's like, it's all about me and what I want, what's best for, or what I think is best I'm gonna do. Um, and that he's willing to also manipulate his children, which obviously this is the case because we saw in the previous episode or two episodes ago where he's manipulated Claudia and Soren and Soren two own separate things. Um, yeah, so. Very like I want. It's kind of like with Soko, where I wanted to, in a way, support him and say, you know, I get where you're coming from, but at the same time, the actions didn't justify the means. Um, or was it means don't justify the actions? Yeah, I guess it would be more like, yeah, I guess it would be what, uh, yeah, it's his actions are not justified. Like, what he believes and what he feels are not a good reason for doing what he's doing. <laughs> so it's like, at one point, it's like, I want to, like, say, yeah, I get where you're coming from and I support you. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know, you're really doing stuff that I don't think is right morally. Um, so, uh, yeah, Viren, for now, I feel like is really going to be a Soko for me where um, I don't like him. But at the same time, I feel you know what it is? I feel like I'm going to start feeling for him later on in the seasons, but right now I just don't like him because he, like, I could feel the genuineness of him when he wanted to save Prince Haro from 
dying and stuff. Like I felt the genuineness that he cared about Haro like a brother and he wanted to save him and stuff. But now it's like he's going down an even worse path than before. I feel like what Haro did with telling him you are a servant to the kingdom and stuff, I feel like that pushed Viren more down that bad path than I feel like he was talking between the two, but after that interact, like after that, that happened, he's now going down a, all right, you're leaving me no choice, or I'm going down this full, I'm going down the full on path of like, I'm going to do what I think is right for the kingdom. No one's going to stop me. I'm going to do what I have, what I believe I have to, uh, even if it means manipulating my children and stuff and everything, but he's just on that path fully now. <laughs> and so I feel like it's going to be where I'm going to not like him until like later on where all of a sudden it's like, Maybe he starts to see what he's done, like the way he's manipulated his children and stuff and things. And I think it'll open his eyes and he'll regret or whatever. And, you, and then it'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, like, then I'll start feeling for him more. Um, and I hope that, like, <laughs> I don't want that to happen because I felt like when, okay, spoiler for anyone who has not seen Arcane, just stop it right here. I'm not going to be sure. I'll, pro I'll put, you know, I'll put a timestamp here on, on, for you to skip to after this but um yeah we know for doing for those of you that have seen arcane we know that soko died um and i fell from like i felt like crying because like even though i didn't like soko i didn't like the way he was going about things i fell for him like he f was betrayed by um vander and and stuff and he felt like he could relate to uh he felt like he could relate to powder slash jinx that she was also betrayed by vi um at least in the beginning uh so he 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 could relate to her and she could relate to him and so he raised her like a daughter and all the blah, blah, blah so like he did love her and so i felt bad for soko but at the same time i was like yeah he was a bad guy <laughs> So I'm wondering if that's going to go that, that's the route that Viren's going to go, where it's going to be like, you don't like his actions, but when he goes, like, if he dies, it's like, I feel, I don't know, because he's like, he feels even, Viren feels even more manipulative than uh, Soko did. Like, I feel like, like, Soko was manipulative, I think, mostly, mostly with his henchmen, but with uh, Powder, I'll just say Jinx. Uh, but with Jinx, he wasn't. He was more protective and, like, tried keeping her out of things um, from getting too heavily involved. Um, and, so, like, overprotective, where uh, he just tried keeping her from things, and that just made things worse um, and stuff. And even, like, lied about Vi and things. So, with him, I don't think... Whereas Viren has had no problem manipulating his children, so I... I not like like even if Viren dies, I might be like mm, I feel bad, but at the same time I'm not as bad as. Yeah, all right, yeah, I you know I think that's turns <laughs> into a full length talk about Soko and Viren and all this stuff and and Mother Gothel and all those things. I'm not gonna do <laughs> I'm not gonna do that full character analyzation. Not not here, not now. Um, save that for like the end of the series or end of like the latest season or whatever it is, but um. Yeah, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you like early access to my full unedited reactions, go join my Patreon. Link is in the description and pinned comment below. But anyway, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and keep bringing bright. See ya!